hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that uh, how to highlight the source code in different kinds of themes and languages basically you can see it's a javascript code here and we have it simple drop down here if i change the drop down you will see basically it will change the basically the highlighting here you can see we have various themes out there this is vs visual studio this is the default theme so we are using basically the highlighter js library inside our javascript to highlight or build a simple syntax highlighter inside the browser so basically this is the official website of highlight.js this is a syntax highlighting library for javascript you can it supports 197 languages and 248 styles so various themes are there if you just uh, refresh you will see it will various themes will be there so we will be looking at a very simple example in the browser how we can deploy this application and build this so all the source code is given in the description of the video i have written a complete blog post so what you can do is that go to the description and copy paste all the source code so now let me show you how to do this process so the very first thing you need to do guys you need to simply make a simple index.html file here and right here you need to copy paste these two cdn tags for the library just after the title simply paste it this is for the highlight js uh, tags here you will see main.js and this uh, default css file here so simply copy paste these ones and now basically we will have a basically a pre tag where you will write your source code so we will be giving an id to it of code and here you can write any php code javascript code python code let's suppose i take an example of python code i write here uh, import operating system and then if i say print hello world this is a print statement and let's suppose x4 then we say that x is equal to x plus 4 this is a simple sample python code guys that we are writing here and then we say app.run like that so this is just a sample python code here that we need to highlight here so what we can do is that we can simply write our custom javascript code here and right inside this code guys in order to highlight this we will have a simple uh, onload event handler so when we load the window basically this event will automatically execute now let me just uh, alert out a statement here so what it will do if you open this with live server automatically this high statement will be printed out this is basically coming through this uh, uh, window.onload event here and now we can simply uh, load this highlight we can simply first of all capture the ref reference of the code by document dot get element by id so we have given the id here you can see we have given this id code and after this we can use this uh, library which is highlighter js which is hl js and it contains a method guys which is called as highlight block and here you will simply pass the code here that's it so now if you pass this guys you will see it will have the basic highlighting here you can see that so default styling is there you will see that it has got the default styling and now we have a simple select field where we will be having certain types of uh, themes out there so basically we will attach basically we will have various options out there so the first option will be the default one the value will be default the second one will be for uh, let's suppose various themes are there you can check out the documentation you will find out all the themes that i'm writing here this is a111y dark and then we have uh, the another theme here which is atom theme atom editor so basically these are the names of the themes out there so now i can simply attach basically an on change guys event handler so whenever the theme is changed we will execute this function which is update theme and here we will pass the value whichever value the user has selected which is this dot value so now we simply need to write this function which is update theme and we will basically be passing the value to this function the theme will be there inside the argument here so what we will do is that we will simply say that document dot get element by id which is theme here and basically what we will say is that i think we have given this 
yes so basically update theme you can see that so what we will do is that we will manipulate the href property of this so this will be equal to basically this value so you can simply go to the description of the video and copy paste this value simply paste it so HTTP basically it's a CDN for various themes out there we are replacing the dynamic theme here you will see that so that's all here if you now check here yeah so now if I refresh this application you will see basically where we'll be select field now you can see if I change the theme here you will see that theme is changed here this is the atom theme this is this one so basically you can have uh, any theme of your choice here let me paste some more options here for the themes if you want to check out all the themes names guys I will show you a method here which you can do you can see it's a rainbow theme here which we have visual studio theme here so if you go to the official website and basically one by one click these options you will find out new themes so one theme is this one base 64 so simply copy the name here and simply add this option like this very simple so now if you see so you can see that I think there needs to be a dash symbol here I think not a slash symbol a dash one I think this theme is not working because I just base 16 github so now you can see that this one if I now copy this name here and another add this option here so you can see that this is a theme here you can see you can also change the language here like suppose you want the javascript code here so what I can do is I can also write this html code let me paste this html code here so this code I need to highlight here so what it will do is basically it will highlight this code here okay you can see that so I think it's a html code that's why it is not working so what you can do we can highlight this javascript code here so this is basically a javascript code so now you can see it's a javascript code here so we can change this so various themes are there you can check out this documentation all the languages are also supported you will see that so this was the example guys all the source code that i used is given in the description of the video thank you very much for watching this video and uh, i will be seeing you in the next tutorial